Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is a lovely Memorial Day here in San Diego. This is Robin from Stamp with Dr. Robin, and we are coming to you live today to talk about a whole bunch of stuff happening in the Stampin' Up! world and to make a card using some of the old stuff. Well, I can't really say it's old, but this um, some product from the January through um, June uh, mini catalog as well as some new products from the annual catalog. So I thought I'd combine old and new. And the other reason I really wanted to do this is the January through June mini catalog is only, you know, live right now through the end of June, which is June starts tomorrow, believe it or not. So, um, and starting tomorrow, there's a whole bunch of products that are on sale from the January through June mini catalog. And so you'll really want to go tomorrow morning um, onto the Stampin' Up! website, take a look around because there's a lot of um, great deals to be had from the things that are retiring. And you can already see what's what's carrying over if you've got your new catalog. And if you don't have your new catalog and you need one, um, just drop me a line in here and, and we'll message each other. So the other, a whole bunch of other info too, um, talked about that sale through the 14th of June. So another two weeks, if you place an order or you get a bunch of people together, place an order for $250 and above, um, you get an extra $25 in free product. And who doesn't like free product? Hi, Janelle, I'm sure you like free product. Um, and what else? Paper pumpkin. We talked about this last week, but I just want to make sure people know this new paper pumpkin that's coming in June is nine regular size um, cards and envelopes. It actually contains two, not just one, but two um, ink spots. They're not telling us what colors, but they're saying it's all about the in color. So I'm sure at least one's going to be an in color. And it really goes with the expressions in ink um, suite. So if you, hi Janelle, if you really like that suite, they say you'll really like um, this paper pumpkin that's coming up. So you got to get those orders in by June 10th. Um, and then the United Through Creativity free download. If you missed my live last week, um, I made some cards with that free, free download. All you have to do is download it to your computer off of um, stampinup.com. Or if you're having trouble finding it, let me know and I can just send it to you since it's free. And it's got some really cute things. So let me turn you down. I'll show you the ones we made last week in case you missed it. So hold on a second. Hey, Cindy. Glad you could come today. All right. So hopefully you can see these. These are the cards that I showed you and made last week. I've got to get you on my other phone. Hold on a sec so that I can make sure that you guys are, are able to see me. So these are the cards that we made with the download. And remember I showed you some of the other things that were, some are images and some are words. And so that's, um, you know, really cool in terms of, of how you can, can use this download. Um, they've got some, I don't know, I did the words that seemed to go with this apple pie thing didn't really go to me, but um, I thought that was kind of cool. Haven't figured out a sentiment for that one yet. And then this one had the words, we belong together, and I just cut out together because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be using that for. And then this is the one that we went through even more last time because I just thought that would be nice to send for a friend for for any sort of reason at all. Okay, so like I said, the card that we're gonna make today um, is I wanted to use this Forever and Always set. And honestly, the real reason I wanted to use it is I hadn't even used the stamp set at all. I had used some of the dies, but not the stamp set. And these words are just so pretty. And I also wanted to use some more of the, of the paper. Um, that's our, what's it called, True Love Designer Paper. I don't think it's one of the things on sale, but if you like coloring, there's a lot of different things you can color. There's some polka dots, you know, there's some stripe. <coughs> Excuse me. So one side has more of the pat just patterns, 
and the other side has more of the the flowers and such that are fun fun to color so that's been a really wonderful set that will be going away um it, you know when it's gone once they put things on sale and give you the the list of what's staying and going once it's gone it's gone so um anyway i just decided that we should use it before it's gone so this is the card that we're going to make, although maybe you guys can help me with um, whether or not, I haven't decided if we're going to use this butterfly again, or maybe some of the paper, because I'll show you some other ones that I made. This is using the paper, colored with some blends. I don't know if you can see, I actually um, embossed the back with a textile embossing folder. That's in the Highland Heather. This one, I wanted to use some of the other paper that's retiring the Love You Always specialty paper. And you can see those are the three colors it comes in. The Rococo Rose, which is already retired, the Blushing Bride, and the Sahara Sand that we're gonna be using today. But um, again, I was just trying to, you know, use some paper and such that I hadn't used before. And this is also using some of the paper with the um, heart punches. And again, that love that's just so pretty when you cut it is from the, um, oh, that's right, I didn't talk about that too. So you have the other paper, which is just the, um, the foil that comes in those same colors. And then this is the exact same one I just showed you, put them both out, only this is using the Rococo Rose. I made these a, a while ago, so they have some of the embossing folders, like the scripty one that's that's retired now. Okay, so let's get going making this card. So first thing is, let us. I want to look, show you the oh, the stamp set and the dies. So. The stamp set has the words and, and a bunch of words that go with love and all you always. These will cut out the flowers and the leaves. These will cut out the little sentiments, although I didn't really use those today. These are just some random flowers. And here's the love and the always. And you'll notice this other one will actually, that's what this one is for. Let's put it the way that we would use it, that we're gonna use it. So this is like a background. For our love. Whoops, let's put it maybe where you can see it. Okay, and this that I cut the love out with is some of the new shimmer vellum. I don't know if you can see how it shimmers a little bit. Let me turn this other light on and see. That probably will give it a little bit more light. And maybe you can see the, the shimmery part of it. I had a request from some of my ladies. Please show us the shimmer. So there's the shimmer, and I wanted to, like I said, this is the background. You can make it in any color. You can see I've done some with the black and the Rococo Rose foil. And this is intentional that I'm showing you a couple of different ones because I also want to show you different ways to do this. So these I just cut out normal. And today what we're gonna do is we're going to use the adhesive sheets. So these are the adhesive sheets, and they're actually sticky on two sides. So what you do is you can peel off that, and then you can peel off that. So generally what you wanna do, this is our love. is that we're just gonna take a little piece that's big enough for what we're using and just cut a little piece off. And then if you're smart, you put it over one of those seams that I've showed you, but I didn't, so now we get to fight with it a little bit or we just cut another one for sake of time. See the, the little lines in here? That makes it easier to cut. 
So let, or to, to pull off. So let's get a little piece that contains that so that we're not fighting with our stuff. So see, way easier. And then what we just want to do is to attach it to a little piece of our shimmer paper. Whoops, I got sticky on me and sticky on this. Luckily, it'll just wear off or we'll just make sure that we're not going to be going over that, okay? So now we're going to take our little mini emboss, cut and embossing machine. Remember, don't line these up exactly or they won't catch and that is not enough, so that's not it. Oh, we need two of these. Let us find the other one. Silly me. Okay, so let's run that through. Gotta have all the pieces to make it work, right? I just love that you can just leave this little guy on your desk, fold him up, doesn't take much room and he's there for the next thing. So now you'll notice, see, that what we do have on this thing, the OVE is separate from the L. They actually come out separately. There's the L. And then we're ready to stick it on. So let's just show you a couple different ways. I thought this would be a good time to show this. A couple different ways to stick this on. So one is these sheets. Now, I have not used them a lot. I totally forgot about them. So getting this off is always the fun part where you gotta try to find somewhere that wants to start it. And we're gonna not have an easy time today, huh? All right, there we go. See that? Now this is sticky down here. Let's get the L, because I find it easier to get the L first. Just gonna try to poke it, there we go. With the pokey end of my take a pick tool. And that really lets you lift that off easily. And then you can just stick it down. But make sure you're where you wanna be because you just get kinda one chance to stick that down. But boy, that is easy, isn't it? spot. Wow, that's really nice. Like I said, I haven't used that very much. Now, here's another way to do it. Just take your glue. Let's get that little hole out of the L there. Make sure all those little pieces are out. Take your glue and just barely put any on because otherwise it tends to smush out. Now the disadvantage with this is see I'm getting glue on my finger. But again, the advantage with glue always is you can move it around a little bit. So there's your L. See how I could move it a little bit so it's in the right spot? Want to be really careful not to get glue on these little sh um, foil sheets because it does look kind of look like a smudge. Okay. Let's 
So again, see, you can see the glue. Now it does dry clear, but sometimes it stays a little sticky. So somewhere, here we go. I have one of these that I hadn't put to, finished putting together because I wanted to show you that technique. I guess we don't need to do this right now, but that would be for that one. And then the third way is to take your silicone mat, put a, just a little blob of glue. This is just a cut up piece of sponge. As you can tell, it's gross and disgusting because this is all I use it for. Turn this over, get a good amount of glue on here. And the nice thing about this is you just get a thin layer of glue over everything. It's a very thin layer. So it doesn't go smushing out. Because it's just a really thin layer. So here's that one. And again, you've got the glue so that you can, you know, move it a little bit if you're not real happy. Like, let's move that up a little bit so you can see the Sahara sand paper underneath. But see how this doesn't have the glue smushing out the edges? Hi, Vicki. Glad you could join us. Okay, so see, no glue smushing out the edges on that one and you can see just all the sparkly goodness. So that's a couple different ways to get those down. And I also wanted to cut, I forgot to do that when I had my machine out before. I wanna cut another, another butterfly out of my pretty sparkly paper. And then I'm gonna have you guys vote on which way we want this card to go. All right. And I forgot to grab my little tool for getting all these things out, so I'll just, let me go grab it, because there's too many little pieces in here. Hold on, hold please. So, here's my little, you know, now they don't sell it, they sell something that goes on the end of the take your pick tool, but that's okay. It's pretty much the same idea, right? All right, come on, little guy. Are you going to come out of here? There we go. Got a few more little guys that didn't want to come out. This is just a regular sewing pin. Sometimes I use that, sometimes I use a toothpick. Either way. Oh, and this is one of the butterflies just from the Butterfly Brilliance. You know that one that has that big all-in-one butterfly? It also has these lovely little separate butterflies. Okay, so we got our little pieces ready to go. And then I think we have just a couple things that we need to stamp. So the first thing is we're going to use that stamp that says love. And this is a, one of our new things besides these um, pretty sparkly butterflies and such is our fresh freesia paper and ink. So what we're gonna be doing is using this beautiful big love stamp. 
and we're going to kind of stamp it diagonally and just make a background with it. So I like to just start in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. We're covering up a whole lot of it. And go all the way across. And then you want to just kind of be right in between there. You notice, I mean, you could, I suppose, figure out a way to, to use your Stamparatus on this. But, oops, that didn't work so well, did it? Well, that's not the very good edge. We'll make it work. Oh, I know part of the problem. Oh, Robin, let's start over. Here's the problem. What kind of stamp is this? Photopolymer stamp. I did not bring out. Now you can see why some of these aren't coming out as well. So let's just do it again. Much better, much happier. You guys ever done that? No, I must be the only one that's ever screwed up like that. Glad you like the vellum, Vicki. You got a little of it, didn't you, in your in your paper share? Have you used it yet? Just gave you an idea of what to do with it. We'll see if we can get that little E. There you go. That's much better than the other side, huh? I'm kind of lining, if you can see, the top of the L up with the bottom of the L. And that's kind of how I'm knowing I'm in the right spot. There we go, beautiful, huh? So that's all done. And then because we want this to say love forever, let's stamp our forever. So this piece of paper, this Fresh Freesia one was four by five and a quarter. This little piece is about a half inch by two inches. And we may end up cutting it down just depending on how well I, how straight I can stamp this. Oh, that's the other thing. Okay, so this thing says forever and, and I don't want the and. So what I should have done is gone like this and just not inked that up. Can you see that, that the and's not inked up? The other way to do it is actually put some tape across it. All right, well, that'll work. It's just see how low it is on there. I didn't really center it. We'll try it one more time. This is kind of hard to do with my phone slash camera in the way. So we'll try it one more time. Let's see if we can get it a little bit more centered. That's a little better. And then one more thing to stamp, which is just this three and a quarter by five inch piece that we're gonna put on the inside. This cute little flower was also in that set, so I thought it was pretty cute to put on the inside. Okay, so we're done with the stamping part. So let's take our, I think we can get rid of this now. This is just a regular piece of Sahara sand. It's eight and a half five and a half scored it four and a quarter and then we can put this on the inside 
And I thought this would be a really nice card for an anniversary card. I never seem to have those when I need them, so that's why you saw that I did make a whole bunch of them, because that way I can use them for that. Um, and also would be a beautiful um, wedding card. So multiple uses. I'm not saying which I'm, you know, going to end up using them for. But isn't that a pretty background? And then this is just a piece of Sahara sand of that designer series paper that's going away soon. I actually thought, oh, I'll never use this Sahara sand color. It's kind of boring, but gosh, it's beautiful. I used it with black a lot too to um, to make a some guy cards. So I think I'm gonna cut this down just a little smidgen, a little on this side too. Just so that it, oh, a little more on the other side, because I did not, A, I didn't get this straight, and B, no, that's a little circle. There we go. And we'll put some, I think it'll take a regular size, yep. Your forever and I think we'll take this little sparkly low here and get some big dimensionals as well as the minis this is the kind of thing that those minis come in handy you can always cut these in half but it's just nice to have these little minis that oh, that's too big for there that fit well. So I'm not going to glue this down yet because we're going to take a little vote here because I've actually started coloring. Oh, let's finish coloring and then we'll vote. So this is some of the DSP that I showed you earlier that goes with this, this set, the True Love DSP, the black and white one, and it just colors so beautifully. So I just wanted to show you a little technique on coloring these and then we'll, we'll take a vote and see which which we want to use. So you'll notice that in this as well as the other ones that I showed you that I try to not totally cover every color anything in. And the reason for that is the white gives you a place to what they call rest your eyes. So let's just color a little bit. This is the dark the dark freesia on the inside. See where those lines are? Be best if you just went like this as opposed to totally color. On where those dark lines are. And then that was the bullet point. Then we'll take the other one to kind of blend them in. This is so the whole leave a little white part is something I learned when I was planting my garden. And I really like color, as do most of us who do this kind of thing. But the guy at the garden said, you should always have a few, if you're gonna plant a lot of flowers, have a few that are white. It gives your eyes somewhere to rest. And, you know, these cards are, have a lot of color in them. And so you really, want to have somewhere that your eyes can rest. And the other nice thing about doing it this way is you don't have to worry about the lines or anything else. Um, this is the dark mint macaron and the light just to fill it in a little bit. But again, I'm not going all the way out. I'll do this one too. But See, I'm going along the veins, give a little bit of dark in the middle because that's how a leaf is. And, you know, this is, see how fast it is to color this stuff in? When you're not worried about, did I go all the way out or not? And you'll notice when I did cut these, I cut them really close to the edge. Um, and now I don't even have to worry about going out the other side because there's not a lot of 
of white showing. And again, I'm just putting some of the dark Fresh Freesia blend and then I'm with the bullet point and then I'm taking the um, more like the painter brush one and blending it out and then just getting a little bit more color in there. But I'm leaving kind of the tips white. No real rhyme or reason. I'm just, I found if I went real slowly, I actually didn't like it as well. So just doing it real quick like that. So now, one more thing, which is I wanted to put, like I did before, some of the in color jewels on my pretty butterfly. So I put a big one on the top. I really love these jewels. I'm almost through this, over halfway through this um, first set, but I knew I would use a lot of them, so I already bought a second set. All right, so here's your voting time. Get ready to vote, you guys. So we can make this card like I did the original one and put the butterfly on here. Or we could put flowers number one. Or we can put flowers number two. So tell me what we want here. And now I gotta wait a second or two because you guys are on a delay. So butterflies, flowers one, flowers two. And while I wait for you to vote, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on here because at some point I'll use these no matter, no matter what you guys say you want on here, I'll make another card and use it. And I know that I'm gonna use it for something. So, there we go, we're ready when you are. Flowers and butterfly, Vicki, have a little bit of both. Well, let me, let me see how that would look. I don't know if I can fit flowers, flowers one and the butterfly. So this is flowers one it that way and the butterfly I don't I think that's a little too much might work with a smaller butterfly hold on I have a smaller butterfly there's a smaller butterfly and then maybe you can do both I don't know, that's a lot on here. What do you guys think? That's flowers one. That's flower two. Even that's a little, a little crowded. Eh, sorry, Vicki, don't get both. Vote again, Vicki. I think it's too crowded to do both of them. Flower one, flower two, or just the butterfly. All right. Well, Janelle likes flower two. Vicky's okay with it. I don't know if there's anybody else on. So we'll go with the, the flower two. Don't worry, I'll use the other ones. And the butterfly. I think the, the vellum is just so pretty. What should we do? Well, maybe like that. And then we already have some dimensionals on here. Maybe what I can do, Vicki, is I can cut the flowers up so it's just like one flower and the butterfly. And then there'll be a little more room on the page. Or I could make a bigger, a bigger card, I suppose, too. Beautiful, and you guys helped design it. So there you go. So we have, that's the one we did today. That was our other starting piece. 
And then we have the one in um, the Rococo Rose and the one in the Highland Heather. So we've got four different ways to make the same card. And now I have a whole bunch of cards ready for who's ever in love. So there we go. So let me turn you guys back up so that we can see each other, or at least I, you can see me. And I will put all these dimensions and everything on, on my blog, Stamp with Dr. Robin. And I also have a YouTube channel, Stamp with Dr. Robin, and um, this will just be up on there, but obviously you guys found me on Facebook. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Might be a little late next week. But tune back in because um, I have to work till like 1230 and then I'll rush home. But hopefully I'll have everything all set up and jump on. So see you guys next time. Bye. Happy Memorial Day. And if you're a service member, thank you for your service and take care. Bye.